Hi guys, this is Elise with Lisey46 and I just wanted to share with you my chocolate box for the mystery chocolate box swap that's being held over at Little Scrap of Heaven hosted by Georgie and um, I finished it today and it's just it just turned out really pretty I like the way it turned out the theme was vintage so we had to paint the box um, decorate the box and fill it with all kinds of uh, trinkets and embellishments so here's my box and I really like the way it um, the way it turned out I used I decided not to go with like um, your usual pinks and browns and um, black I decided to use green I saw this pretty paper and I just fell in love with the paper so I had to just use this paper so let me show you what I did was um, the first thing I did was I took my box and I crackled the edges um, the outside of the box and um, the inside um, uh, sides of the box and um, it turned out pretty good some spots are crackled more than others and what I did I first painted the box uh, with a silver kind of color like a gray silver and I actually had to paint it like three times just to get it to adhere to the box um, so once I did that I went over it with the crackle median medium and then I painted over uh, that after it dried with uh, um, a light green it's kind of like an apple green and so I like the way it turned out pretty good um, and then I distressed all the edges with walnut stain which is actually my favorite um, the stress ink um, I like the way it just makes things look and then the other thing I did was the next thing I did is I took my box and I sorry guys um, I went around the entire box with the green rosette flowers and they're really pretty I don't know if that's focused but you can see the rosette flowers I put those all the way around and that's on the the top half of the box and then I started to embellish um, my box and I use some um, little metal flowers with a little bling green bling I use a little piece of um, like a little sprig here and some leaves and these are these leaves are um, petaloo leaves and these are just some green flowers that I had in my stash and there's another one of the hardware flowers and then I put some of the green um, clear sort of clear flowers with a little bling in the middle I know people have had these in pink and white and I have those too but I also I have them in green as well so I was able to use some of those and then I used some of the tiny rosette flowers and then I used a Tim Holtz um, ornate plate and I took a small piece of the paper and I stamped just for you and put it on um, put it on the plate you know inside the plate and then I had a green uh, butterfly that I used that just worked out just perfect and I like the way it just it just turned out really pretty and then over in the other corner um, I put another um, some a couple of more of the uh, petal leaves with the a petal flower and put one of the little rosette flowers in the middle and then um, a couple other little leaves that I had and then I made a stick pin and put um, just a little sim simple stick pin on the side and another little uh, sprig at the top and then let me open it up so you can see what's inside how I did the inside and whoever gets this box I hope they like it because I really want to keep it but I can't but let me show you the inside and what I did in the inside uh oh I kept the inside pretty simple um, I made a little pocket with some of the paper I painted it green and I made a little pocket and then I made this um, vintage tag I put some of the little flowers on the tag and I had a vintage stamp um, lady and I stamped her on the tag and I used some seam binding to make a little tag and so the tag just sort of tucks in the the little pocket that's in the inside let's see if I can it tucks in the little pocket and then that way um, I could probably stand it up straight if I you know didn't have all the flowers and embellishments at the bottom 
but if she wants to, she can store tags in this little pocket. But for now, I'm just going to put this one um, little tag in there just for her. So that's the inside of my box. Okay, and then let me show you some of the yummies that I put in the inside of the box. Okay, I wanted to be a surprise for the person that's getting it, so I'll, I'm not going to show it all. But here's the top layer. layer. And we were supposed to just fill it with all kinds of um, trinkets and um, items. Embellishment. That's the top layer. And this is the bottom layer. So it's all ready to go in the mail. All I have to do is um, on the very bottom of the box, I want to put a... Um, a piece of paper or a piece of felt on the bottom because I didn't paint the bottom of the box so that's my last thing um, that's the only thing I need to do and then my box will be all ready um, for the mail so there's my box for the mystery chocolate box swap and so whoever gets my box I hope you like it and thank you for watching bye bye